ego and self respect mm, they are quite different concepts ego is simply i exist i am i am hmm? and because you just cannot be without being anything therefore ego completes the statement i am by saying i am a male i am a student i am a professional i am wise i am smart i am handsome i am distressed i am suffering i am happy huh? Th- these are uh, all ego statements i am x i am y i am z all this is the ego now what is self respect it's a very hazy thing what is respect if uh, uh, respect means to value if if the real meaning of respect is that you value someone highly then uh, the process of respect involves two things one you must know what to value secondly obviously the object must deserve that value or have that value hmm? so do i really know what is important and the moment i say do i really know who what is important i'm referring to the ego right because the i is the ego so does the ego really know what is important no one very central defining characteristic of the ego is that to the ego only the ego is important because the ego is false and little and insecure it just does not have the courage to give anything beyond itself much importance in some way or the other directly or obliquely the ego accords importance only to itself i am important if i am important then those who are related to me will become important if i am important then my thoughts will become important my imagination will become important my ideas will become important my country will become important my my clan will become important my past will become important my dreams and my desires will become important all these are ego statements and all these are founded on the mother statement i alone am important that is ego i alone am important the ego just cannot see beyond itself so whenever the ego gives respect to something what is it that the ego is respecting nothing but itself because the ego has no capacity to truly appreciate anything beyond itself that requires courage and that requires clarity the ego has neither courage nor clarity are you getting it so when you say self respect that merely means that you are looking at your reflection in the mirror and admiring it and irrespective of how you really are or how you look and that's the way several people are don't you know irrespective of the position they are taking they keep backing their position irrespective of uh, how foolish their concepts or ideas or dreams or targets are they keep chasing their dreams that's self respect a mark of stupidity Hmm? <coughs> if i am not mistaken the word respect comes from <coughs> the ability to look cleanly and clearly at something hmm uh, i think the root word is picure so re looking at something again that's respect hmm? looking at uh, something again and again with the intention to come to the truth that's respect respect does not mean offering value to something without even knowing the value for example an elder comes to your uh, place the elder happens to be not merely an elder but an elder relative and you have been taught to offer respect have you not been no so the fellow has come and you do not know the fellow you do not know how virtuous he is you do not know how courageous or loving he is and yet you are supposed to offer respects <coughs> right 
the fellow comes in and you offer some salutation hmm? you greet him by saying sir or namaste or welcome or something now that's the way of the ego it does not know itself therefore it does not know what to respect to know the other first of all you must know yourself correct before you can tell how beautiful uh, somebody's eyes are you must have the eyes to look at his eyes right but the way of the ego is that it just cannot look it has beliefs but no vision it has dreams but no reality so it respects out of bias or tradition or influence it does not respect that is it does not uh, evaluate based on merit or clarity are you getting it so just as you offer your respects to the other one in a in a, in a blind way equally people keep respecting themselves or sometimes even disrespecting themselves in a blind way so self respect as a prerequisite needs self knowledge if i say i respect myself i must be asked who respects what you say you have self respect so that would mean you respect yourself correct then i must ask you who respects what you say i respect myself i'll say who respects what do you really know yourself there can be no self respect without self knowledge and we have been repeatedly saying that the ego survives only in lack of self knowledge the less you know yourself the more dense and and crystallized your ego is so self respect is nothing but self awareness the more you know yourself the more you you realize who you are not and that brings you to who you are hmm? that is real self respect knowing oneself but knowing oneself is not a direct or positive process knowing oneself can happen only through the root of discarding all that which is not you this is not me this is not me you keep rejecting all that and that brings you to the real self and that is self respect basically that means that people who do not know themselves are the ones who greatly disrespect themselves hmm? and that is uh, Uh, quite interesting because if someone comes and says a few abusive or coarse words to you you feel hurt you say the fellow disrespected me hmm? but this disrespect is nothing compared to the disrespect that we heap on ourselves by remaining ignorant of ourselves all life long you live for 80 years without without ever thinking deeply about yourself your life your relationships your dreams your hopes uh, your regrets your suffering your phobias you never think about these things and you and you live for an entire 80 years and then you die that's the deepest disrespect towards the self to not to know oneself hmm? and this disrespect towards the self is also called as ego because ego is another name for self illusion i do not know who i am yet i keep saying i am that's the ego and that's disrespect right now uh, come to the next part of your question what are you saying uh i mean sir uh, why can't we just let it go when some uh, when some people intentionally or unintentionally hurt our so called ego uh, i mean 
when i try to let go of things and people who hurt my ego and or self respect i observe that uh, after a period of time people don't take you seriously and your opinions i mean i am little confused uh, in being a humble person or a person having attitude because uh, attitude makes you look confident and attractive and get you respect in the society the important thing is wait 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 wait, wait, wait. you you the important thing is to first of all be assured of who you are and what you have you must be confident of your own truth in the first place hmm you are carrying a textbook of advanced calculus hmm? and a class 4 student starts spitting at it and says this is all nonsensical and what is this integration sign is this some snake or something uh, would you feel disrespected or humiliated dejected how would you feel but if you yourself are like that uh, class 4 student then your self esteem will take a beating you will say oh my god my book has been dishonored how are they able to bother you with whatever they are doing huh? how are you not assured of what your truth is and if you are assured how can you take them seriously a class 4 student who knows nothing about anything hmm? comes and starts debunking a phd thesis should he be taken seriously given some some importance no sir because he doesn't know about what he is doing ah, the thing is do you know do you know of what you have what you are saying what you are when you are when you are assured of yourself then what the world is saying does not matter too much but when you are uh, yourself half here half there uncertain hmm then anybody can influence you humility that's the word you used uh, should i be humble or should i not be humble what is humility humility is about knowing that your default identity is the ego that's humility humility is to know how vulnerable to mistakes you are because that's the nature of the ego it can survive only in mistakes those are not even mistakes those are ego's compulsions because without them it cannot survive Hmm? that's humility so when somebody attacks you and you feel hurt humility lies in looking at yourself and smiling and saying see how vulnerable i am they are tossing nonsense at me and yet i am giving it importance what they are saying has no ground no foundation and yet i am taking it seriously see how stupid i am and this is humility you must be able to always recognize your own weaknesses and when you recognize your weaknesses you do not say they are my weaknesses you just say oh they are systematic they are biologic they are social these weaknesses and when you say thus then you can smile at them with detachment that's humility humility does not lie in surrendering to others or bowing down to others someone who cannot call a spade a spade is not humble 
द हम्बल पर्सन इज़ वन हु कैन कॉल इल्यूजन एज इल्यूजन दैट्स वॉट ह्यूमिलिटी इज अबाउट टू कॉल इल्यूजन एज इल्यूजन Anything else on this? Uh, no, sir. Uh, my all doubts have been cleared. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs>